I'm done in your own, it's this on Chimo. Let's start the unboxing knife. See what we got. That was kind of rough. I should have just cut the end of the box, but it's all good. So, I just want to give a shout out to Tom. Alright, and here are the sales. Nice. Tape them off, that way they don't touch each other or get damaged. Still looks pretty good. So I'm going to get them all out real quick and kind of discuss my thoughts on them. Eight amp hour, 38120, headway HPs. Very nice. Of course, they're used, but definitely still tested 100 percent and i'm definitely gonna um test them i'm going to um start by bottom draining them putting them in the car and then um bringing them all back up and then checking each individual one again to see you know <clears throat> how each sale is doing and that's it for that box but he sent some um Looks like stainless screws. It doesn't have any lock washers, but I don't need them. I don't know. I'm going to look more into that, too. It has some bubble wrap in there to keep it all nice and tight. So, that's a win on shipping. Let's see what the bigger package entails. And in the bigger box, well, it seems like he's packing four. Well, of course, he sells four at a time. So, I'm more than sure he has them already pre-packaged like this. And each one is in a box like this. So that's pretty cool. Let's open one more. Let's see what we have here. Let's set these like that. Be okay. Slice, slice, and a dice down at the bottom. I ain't got to slice the bottom. Let's see what we have here. Sales and more hardware. Right, so that definitely looks good. Oh, y'all, I cannot wait. They're all the same sales. And as long as I, as long as all of them are good and I, you know, balance them correctly, I shouldn't have any issues at all. And I just hope that I don't have any issues with any of the sales in this package. That's what we'll do. Pull it on and pull the tape off. See what we have. That would be positive. And down here at the bottom, of course, it's a negative. I'm definitely going to keep this tape on until I'm ready to use. That was a lot. It's definitely safe to store indoors. So, more hardware. So, I'm going to do this another one, two, three, four times. Three more times and get back with you. All right, so this is roughly how the battery is going to be. Um, they're just sitting in here randomly. Um give or take a couple of inches for spacing because I'm definitely going to space the batteries out just so that they can stay you know cooler and you know just better overall uh, I'm also thinking about incorporating a few things into this battery such as uh, I want to do a voltmeter but um, yeah so it's really not that heavy it's obviously not that big it's my hand right here so that's pretty much 40 amp hours when it's all said and done um, definitely a high C rating um, for quick charge and discharge alright so um, just something else I want to point out these are not lithium ion these are lithium iron phosphate so it's a much safer chemistry than lithium ion um, you could definitely do a little research on it and 
and um, you'll find out that, you know, they're possibly going to be the future for, you know, car audio or just the future for cars and other things in general. I mean, you know, as time progresses, you know, battery technology gets better. They get more powerful. So it's just amazing to see. Once again, I'll drop the specs on the side of the video. Matter of fact, they're going to be right, right there. Look right here. You can see the specs. They start rolling up now. So, um, yeah, I mean, very impressive. Backside. I'm going to be making my own bus bars using um, T60, 61 aluminum. Uh, it's definitely electrical grade, aircraft grade. It's referred to as T6511 as well, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not, a, I'm not a metal artist. But I know that if you plan on building a bank like this, um, I measured, I got 8 inches with everything perfectly spaced. For my row of 5 this way and for my four, row of 4 across, it's pretty much going to be the same. I'm not going to do 8 inches across. Um, I don't have to worry about across. All I have to worry about is up and down. So basically, it's going to be positive. Negative, positive, negative. And on the ends, I'm going to use 3 eighths by 3 quarter. Or I might do a little thicker. I'm not sure. I might even grab some more of this. This right here is, I believe, 3 quarter by a half. Yes, 3 quarter by a half. So I'm thinking about doing that. But the only thing with this, if I do it, I'm going to have to recess each hole to get the screw in. <clears throat> I don't own a drill press. I don't own a lathe. I don't own any fancy equipment. I'm going to be doing all this with my hand tools. I'm going to set up a jig so that I get all, you know, perfect aligned holes. Um, I'm just going to make sure it's proper. And I'm going to space everything out and do it all proper. And so far, I'm happy I got all good sales. Shouts out to the seller, Tom, again. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your packaging. And I am just too geeked, y'all. I can't wait. Uh, speaking of... Just a comparison, real quick. Just a quick comparison. Headway, 38120HP, 3.2 volt sale, right here in my hand. Alright, now, I got an 18650 right next to it. You can see the difference. Huge. That's the 18650 right next to it. Now, I'm going to put a 26. 650 battery next to it. Look at the difference. Ridiculous. So, definitely curious and definitely um, just excited to see what we can do with this. Stay tuned for more, y'all. Stay tuned for more. Peace and base.